All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about <clears throat> under this required area, which is these ones right here, we're going to do required true airspeed. Now, this is all the wind side of the E6B. So not all of these, but this true airspeed is the wind side of the E6B if you were on a manual E6B. So usually on the wind side of E6B, you calculate a heading and ground speed, which we have a video for that, how we did that. And we also showed under the wind tab, how you use the same inputs that you would on a wind side of an E6B to come up with the wind. And then this is going to be the same inputs and, and type of things you need for the wind side of the E6B, but this time you don't have true airspeed, so you want true airspeed. So again, this is more like a something you would find on the FA written if it asks for what true airspeed do you need. With the, if the winds are this, your ground speed is this, stuff like that. So let's, let's do that here. We have wind direction let's say that it's from three to five and it's at 42 knots and then let's say our course is 210 so we enter that and hit enter and then our ground speed let's say it was 150 so we'll hit enter and now it's going to give us what we want we want our true airspeed of 137 knots and our heading of 226 degrees. So again, I talked about how if we go to heading and we, we did the heading and ground speed, this is exactly the step-by-step -step on the wind side of your E6B. The step-by-step -step procedures that are spelled out at the top of your wind side of your E6B, that's you enter a wind direction, a wind speed, a course, a true airspeed, and then you read under your grommet the ground speed and then you have your wind correction angle and your heading that you can calculate from your wind correction angle that you get from the wind side of your E6B. And then similarly, if you press wind here and you select this wind right here, again, this is all like on the wind side of your E6B, but just this time, it's all those same elements, but you don't have the wind. So this time you have ground speed and you have heading and course and true airspeed and then this will give you the wind. So you enter your course, you give it your true airspeed, you give it your ground speed, and then you give it your heading, and it's gonna tell you the wind direction. And then finally, we just talked about how if we go, if we go to required and we go down to true airspeed, again, all the same elements are that wind side of the E6B, but this time we know our wind direction and speed, we know our course, and we know our ground speed, and it tells us the true air speed and heading.